In this video, we'll show you how to customize all the settings for your Gymdesk website. A free website is included with every Gymdesk account and works seamlessly with all the other features in your account. Within Gymdesk, navigate to the Website tab to use the Website Builder. By default, your website is unpublished and visitors won't be able to find you online until you click Published. The Settings tab of the Website Builder is where you'll configure the basics of your website. You can use a free Gymdesk subdomain for your website or connect your own custom domain. To add a custom domain, you'll need to purchase the domain you want, then follow a few simple steps to link it to Gymdesk. If you set up a custom domain, you can activate an SSL certificate through Gymdesk by adding a CNAME record in your domain provider, then clicking Activate SSL here. You can get instructions on how to set up your domain through common providers by clicking on Learn how to connect your own domain. You can choose from a light or dark theme on your website and customize the colors of your website elements. You can also choose from five different fonts for your site. If you like, you can add a different logo here for your website. Your website will use your gym's logo by default, which you can update in your gym settings. On the right, you can add your social media accounts for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. These will be displayed on each page of your site in the footer. On the left, you can decide what to include in your website navigation and the order you'd like links to pages to be displayed in the top navigation. Up to six links can be displayed, and additional pages you publish will be displayed under a drop-down menu titled More. When enabled, the login and sign-up links will always be displayed in the top right corner of your site. Other links in your header can be ordered however you like by dragging and dropping them. Below, you can add your Google Analytics measurement ID if you'd like to connect your Gymdesk website to your Google Analytics account. Additional tracking codes for services such as Facebook's Metapixel, which is used for tracking visitors for ad performance purposes, can be added in the bottom two sections here where needed. Please refer to the instructions for additional tracking scripts to determine if they should be added to the body or head tags of your website. Next, we'll talk about creating additional pages on your website. Click on Pages and create page to create a custom page for your website. In addition to the options you get in the home page editor, you'll see fields for adding a page name and URL. You can also decide if you want to show the page in your website navigation or limit access to the page with a password. By clicking on instructors, you can edit how your instructors are displayed on your website. The instructor information on this page is pulled from the staff settings of your account. You can change the order of your instructors by dragging and dropping them. You can also choose to display information about their rank and title. On the Location tab, you can adjust how your gym's address and map location is displayed. Your gym's address is pulled from the settings section of your account. You can also decide if you want to link to your address within Google Maps when someone clicks the map on your website. Within the text box at the bottom of the page, you can add additional directions and relevant information, such as parking instructions, that will be displayed below your address and map location. On the Schedule tab, you can add extra information about your class schedule, such as class descriptions and requirements. You also have the option here to display canceled classes or hide them. If you'd like to edit your gym's training schedule, click Manage Schedule. You can also get an embed code for adding your gym schedule to an external website by clicking on Embed Code. Forms are a powerful way to collect information from website visitors. By default, you have a simple contact form that you can display on your website. You can also create any kind of custom form you like for gym promotions, trial memberships, or other offers that will incentivize your visitors to learn more about your gym. Get started with custom forms by clicking on Create Form. You'll see settings for the form title, description, and which fields you want to display within the form. Additional fields are custom fields you've created in your account, such as experience level or fitness goal. Below the form description, you can customize the form's button text and the lead source. Most of the time, you'll want the source to be website. However, if you decide to embed your forms on external pages or link to your form in marketing campaigns, you may want to change the source for better lead tracking. Next, you can add a thank you message that will be displayed after a form is submitted and enter a URL to redirect users to a new page. In Show Form, 
you'll see options for where you want this form to display on your website. You can add it as a pop-up, display it on the bottom of a specific page, or select for implementation into a website. This last option means that it will only show up on your site if you add it as a content block within one of your pages. If, as a pop-up on every page is selected, you can also choose where you want the form to be displayed on the page. If you're running ad campaigns through services like Google, you can use the conversion snippet section to embed any code you have to track form submissions and conversions. Back on the page with all your forms, you can get an embed code for any custom forms you've built to add them to an external website. In Gallery, you can add any photos you'd like to display within the gallery content block on your site. To reorder them, simply drag and drop. On the Pricing tab, you can display pricing for membership options that you've set for your gym. You can turn this section off if you don't want to display your gym's pricing. On the top of the page, you can add introductory text that will be displayed before your membership options. In the next section, you can select which memberships you want to display and reorder them by dragging and dropping. Finally, you can use the text box at the bottom of the page to add any additional information that will be displayed below your pricing. With Gymdesk Powerful Website Editor, you can build a gym website that provides visitors with all the information they need to take the next steps in their fitness journey. As always, our support team is here to help you every step of the way as you manage and grow your gym. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions you have. Until next time, keep growing.